Hello friends, the topic for today is 80386 memory and logical addressing. 80386 application programs use logical addresses to specify the location of operands in a 4 gigabyte physical address space. The processor automatically translates these logical addresses to physical addresses that it emits on the system bus. An 80386 operating system can tailor an application programs view of its logical address space. For example, an operating system can define the logical address space as it is defined by many architectures as a simple array of 2 raised to 32 bytes or 4 gigabytes. Alternatively, an 80386 operating system can organize the logical address space as a collection of variable length segments. An operating system can define many segments or just a few as appropriate to its view of logical memory. The 80386 does not dictate the use of segments. It is flexible, but allows them to be used as they support application needs. Now let us go to the segments. As just mentioned, an operating system can define the 80386 logical address space as one or more segments. Segments are logical units that map well to programming structures which are inherently variable in length. For example, a 1516 byte procedure fits exactly into a 1516 byte segment or a 8 megabyte array, for example, 1028 by 1028 by 8 display buffer fits exactly into a segment of the same size. So by providing Architectural support for segments, the 80386 improves the performance of the system that choose segments as the structuring mechanism. For example, segments can be individually protected and can be shared selectively between tasks. So that will improve the performance of the system. An 80386 segment can be any size from 1 byte to 4 gigabytes. For every segment, the operating system maintains a architecture defined descriptor that specifies the attributes of the segment. Segment attributes include a 32-bit base address and limit or length and protection information that can guard a segment against incorrect use. Application programs deal only indirectly with descriptors referring to segments by means of logical addresses. Then let us go to the logical addresses. Because a program may potentially refer to a multiple segments, an 80386 logical address must identify a segment. Therefore, an 80386 logical address consists of two parts, a 16-bit segment selector and a 32-bit offset into the selected segment. Let us see the figure. As you can see here, we have the logical address, segment and the descriptor table. The selector part of the logical address names the segment's descriptor. So the processor determines the segment's address by using the selector as an index into the descriptor table maintained by the operating system. Then adding the offset part of the logical address to the base address obtained from the segment's descriptor produces the operand address. As you can see here, it can go up to 2 raised to 32 bytes. So the size of the segment will be 4 gigabytes. So let us summarize this. The selector part of the logical address names a segment's descriptor. The processor determines the segment's address by using the selector as an index into a descriptor table maintained by the operating system. Adding the offset part of the logical address so the base address obtained from the segment descriptor produces the operand address. Then let us go to the next segment and descriptor registers. So to make logical addressing efficient, the 80386 provides six segments and descriptor registers as shown in figure. So here we have the TS code segment, then SS tag segment, TS data segment, ES it is also used for data and then fs and gs these are two segments which are used for data so 
in all we have four segments for data one is for code and one is for the stack so it will have these descriptors so descriptor will have the base address limit and the other parameters for the protection this will be 64 bit and the segment will be the 16 bit so in effect these registers act as a programmers controlled cache that eliminates selectors from most instructions and permits most logical address to be translated on chip without consulting a descriptor table the address of reference of the most programs cluster in a few small address range this is the locality of reference principle that makes virtual memory practical for example if a procedure is stored in a segment many instructions are likely to be fetched from the segment before control pluses to another procedure in another segment 80386 under program control exploits this locality of reference by keeping recently used selectors and descriptors in its on chip register the on chip descriptors enable the great majority of the logical addresses to be translated without time consuming memory reference so at any instant up to six segments are addressable the core segment the stack segment and up to four data segments the cs ss ds es fs and gs segment registers contain the selectors for these segments the corresponding descriptors registers contain the matching descriptors if necessary program can make a new segment addressable by loading the new segments selectors into a segment register the processor maintains the descriptor registers automatically loading the proper descriptor whenever a program changes a segment register in fact descriptor registers can only be loaded by the processor they are inaccessible to the programs so here note that the instruction pointer contains the offset of the current instruction in the current code segment that is defined by the cs register and the register esb contains the offset of the stack top in the current stack segment defined by the ss register to improve instruction encoding efficiency most instructions do not name segment register instead the 80386 automatically selects a segment register based on the instruction being executed for example a jump instruction implicitly refers to the cs that is course segment register and a push instruction uses the stack segment register if necessary a programmer can explicitly direct the 80386 to use a particular segment in an instruction by preceding the instruction with an one byte segment override prefix the prefix directs the processor to use the particular segment register to translate the address in the following instruction. Note that segment whose base address is 0 and whose limit is 4 gigabytes define a 4 gigabyte logical address space. Because the processor selects segment registers automatically, an instruction can name an operand anywhere in this 4 gigabyte space with a simple 32 bit offset. If, as illustrated in figure, all descriptor registers are loaded with base addresses of 0 and limits of 4 gigabytes the segment effectively descends as you can see here here we have all the segments loaded with the base and the limit for all the segments is 4 gigabytes that's why the segments will descend so in every byte in the logical address space whether an instruction a variable or an atom on the stack is addressable within simple 32 bit thus the segment registers give the 80386 six instantaneously addressable logical address space of up to 4 gigabytes each when these segments coincide program sees a single 4 gigabyte logical space identical to that provided by less flexible 32 bit architecture with this we come to the end of this video if you like the video press the like button share with your friends and subscribe to our channel engineering and technology for you and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notifications for our future videos on this subject then thanks for watching have a nice day